So hi and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you the process of cleaning this Volkswagen up and also showing the process of applying some paint protection and also some protection to the glass as well. Now those of you who have been around for a while might recognise this car. I cleaned this car back in December, so around sort of five months ago now, and did a kind of full sort of decontamination and applied a ceramic wax. So I applied the Pyramid Car Care ceramic wax to this. And it's done a good job of sort of protecting the car through winter and definitely stops it getting as dirty as it could have done, but it hasn't been cleaned since that wash in December. So it was definitely in need of a bit of sort of care and attention and also applying some extra kind of paint protection to this vehicle. So of course, I'm starting off the process how I always do and just pressure washing a lot of the kind of loose dirt and grime off. So a lot of bird poo managed to get rinsed away using just the pressure washer, which is great. So starting off with the first product here, and that is Valet Pro Citrus Pre-Wash. Now this is one of my absolute favorite pre-washes to use on the car. It doesn't absolutely hammer paint protection, but that wasn't a huge concern here. What it does do is have some really good cleaning ability whilst still being a very economical product. So it costs just sort of pennies to make up this 500 ml bottle. Here I've got it mixed up at around one to six and I find that that works really well to shift a lot of that traffic film without sort of using unnecessarily harsh chemicals here. So once I'd gone ahead and sort of rinsed the car down after using that pre-wash, I just then wanted to move on to the wheels and get those done out of the way. So I used that citrus pre-wash also on the tyres and the arches. So I've got a brush here which is dipped in a little bit of Garage Therapy wheel shampoo which I'll talk about in a minute. But I used that on the tyres, you can see that there was a good level of dirt coming off the tyres here. So I essentially repeated the process of cleaning and rinsing them three times until I was happy with the sort of level of clean that they were, you know, the foam wasn't sort of brown at this point, so I was happy with that. So I find that this is a really good product just because it's so sort of economical and also quite versatile. Obviously you can use it as a pre-wash on the paintwork and it works really, really well at softening the dirt. But also I find that I can just use that same product on the tyres and the arches a lot of the time. So once I'd gone ahead and cleaned the tyres and the arches, I then moved on to the alloy faces themselves. So for this, I'm using the Garage Therapy Wheel Shampoo in an IK Foamer. So not too much different here from sort of my previous videos. I'm using 10 ml in 500 ml of water. Roughly that kind of mixture I find that produces a decent level of foam um, and also helps it cling to, to the wheel. I find it just a really, really great way of cleaning the alloy faces. So I like to use a mitt to get off the bulk of the dirt and then I went in with a soft brush after that just to work into some of the areas where the mitt couldn't reach. I find that using a soft brush on these kind of alloys is really helpful. They are diamond cut and they sort of have black, gloss black elements to them. So I find that being as sort of delicate as possible using these really soft brushes is, is quite useful. So once I'd cleaned the alloy face, I then moved on to the barrel so for this I'm using the barrel brushes by SGCB UK and these are sort of that microfiber style one again really kind of gentle and delicate finishes tend to cope better with these sort of brushes than bristle style so particularly with these kind of gloss black elements to the wheel I find that using a combination of a garage therapy wheel shampoo which offers really good lubrication and also these brushes which are quite soft I found that it was a really really good way at getting them a good level of clean again whilst also being quite safe on the finish. So once I'd sorted all the wheels out I then moved on to the snow foaming stage. So here I am using Built Hamber Touchless which I've been using quite a lot recently particularly on cars where there's quite a heavy amount of traffic film. I find that it's good to kind of finish off the pre-wash using this product. So here I'm using quite a generous 4% panel impact ratio as it is pretty cheap product to use, so I didn't really feel the need to be stingy with it. 
Like the Hamber Auto Foam, the foam isn't really, really thick, but it does do a good job at cleaning, and that is sort of really what I'm after when I'm using the snow foam. It was a reasonably cold day as well, so I found that around a sort of five minute dwell time was enough before it's, the product sort of started drying out. I didn't feel the need to leave it on any longer, as most of it had slipped off by this stage anyway. So then I just went ahead and pressure washed everything down, starting from the bottom, working my way up, and just being quite slow, just taking my time with it to try and lift as much traffic film before moving on with the contact wash. So for the contact wash today, I was using this one by Autobead, so this is their premium shampoo. It's a very, very concentrated one, so I used around 10ml and found that I got some really, really good suds out of that. It has a nice scent to it, and it's just a really sort of slick, sudsy shampoo, it just does what you kind of want it to do, really. So I picked this sample up in a Because Race Car Box subscription box. I'm sort of working my way through it. I think they gave around 100ml. Um, as I said, you only use around 10 ml each time, so I've still got a decent amount of this left. I thought it'd be a good kind of chance to try one that I don't normally show on the channel, something a bit different. I wouldn't say it was one of my absolute, absolute favourites. I'd still say that Garage Therapy One Car Shampoo and also Simple Wax Suds just do it a little bit more for me, but it is still a really, really good one to use. Then I went on to some of the badges and used a soft brush and also just topped it up with that Valet Pro Citrus mix that I already had to hand. And once I'd done the softer areas with the brush, then I moved on to using a hog's hair brush on the trim around the windows. As these are quite prone on this car to getting kind of algae built up in there, which looks pretty bad and ruins the kind of look of the car. So I used a stiffer brush to tackle those areas, again, mixed with that Valet Pro Citrus. So I also wanted to apply some protection to the glass. So of course, wanted to prepare it as best as I could. So I used Garage Therapy Decon Shampoo, a one in 10 mix, sprayed that all over and worked that in using a soft brush just to give a little bit more agitation and sort of coverage than a mitt would be. Once I'd done that, I also used Built Hamber Clay, the soft version, to clay the windshield and also the rest of the windows. Then I used this twisted loop drying towel to dry the rest of the car, primed it by drying it on the windows and then just essentially went around and kind of patted the car dry. I don't like to drag the towel if I don't have to. I find that patting it does actually soak up a lot of the water and does leave sort of a streak free and water spot free finish. So now I'm just moving on to the paint protection stage and for this I'm using a ceramic wax by Solution 61 which they very very kindly sent down for me to review. So I just wanted to demo it in this car and give my thoughts as we're talking through it. So I would say that the consistency of the wax was fairly sort of hard, maybe medium to hard would be a good way to describe it. It means that it's quite easy to spread, but also that you get quite a lot for your money here, so you don't use a lot on application, and I'll show you at the end, once I've been around the entire car, what the wax actually looked like and how much I'd used. So I just worked it in using this foam applicator. Now it claims to have six months protection from one application, which is of course fantastic and I'll be monitoring that and providing some updates on my Instagram. So here you can see what the wax looked like after the sort of applying it to the entire car. And you can see that I've used very, very little of it. The product is £9.99 at the moment, which I think is a really, really good price for a ceramic wax. Most of them you tend to see are significantly more than that, so I think it's a really good one if you want that really good water behaviour, but don't want to spend an absolute fortune. I think as well the application process was very enjoyable. It wasn't the easiest wax I've ever removed, it wasn't difficult either. It took a little bit of buffing, but nothing that was sort of giving me too much of a workout. The curing time that they suggest is 10 minutes. I found that it needed slightly longer than this, so I actually went for around 15 to 20, I found was good enough before the wax actually needed removing. I just wanted to show you some shots of the water behaviour as I tested this two days after applying it and I was really kind of blown away by it. 
of course being a ceramic wax you would expect good water behaviour but you can see here the level of beading and sheeting that's provided. The sheeting's really really quick and even and when you sort of use really low pressure you can see that the car just dries itself really. So I was very very impressed with the water behaviour. As I said I will be providing some updates on my Instagram so if you are interested in that then I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah so far really impressed with this one and I think it's definitely one to consider if you are into waxes and want this really really good kind of performance. So as I said I also wanted to apply some protection to the glass so I continued the prep process here and that is just by using a water spot remover so here is the one by Tax Systems and then I followed that up using a panel wipe solution and this is just the one by Carken. So on the windshield I decided to go for the Pyramid Car Care glass coating as it's probably the most durable one that I have in my collection. So I do have a video kind of comparing the different glass sealants that I've tried recently. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you are interested and want to purchase one fairly soon then it might be worth checking out. So for this one the application process is very straightforward. It comes with an applicator pad, you just add a few drops and spread it using a cross hatch pattern. On a windshield this size I worked in three sections and I found that that was kind of a manageable amount to work on. Then as soon as you've applied it, 15 seconds later you level it so this is just using really really light pressure with your microfiber towel just to remove any kind of high spots as you would a ceramic coating and then immediately after leveling just flip your microfiber towel or get a new one and buff off the remaining residue. So this one leaves behind a very, very thin film that's sort of effortless to buff off and a really enjoyable product to use and a quick one to apply as well. So for the side and the back windows, I decided to go for Rain-X for this one as it is a really, really cheap product and there's a lot of windows to cover. So here I'm applying it just using a microfiber applicator in circular motions to ensure that the coverage is even. And then I let that dry for around 10 to 15 minutes before I buff that off with a microfiber towel. So I did include this one when I did my glass sealant comparison and I mentioned there that it's not the easiest to buff off and it does take a little bit of elbow grease. It's not like Pyramid Car Care's one where buffing it off is effortless. This one does take a little bit of work but the performance of it is actually pretty good. So finally onto the tyres just to complete the overall look and for this I'm using Garage Therapy Tyre Serum which is one that you need absolutely barely any of the products to actually apply. Just using a foam applicator, I find that it spreads really, really nicely. And even on tyres that were kind of fairly dull like this one was, tyres that are a little bit cracked and worn, it actually brought the finish back really, really nicely. So once I was done with the tyres, I decided to take the after shots just to show you the overall look of the car once I've done this full process. So hopefully you can see that there's a good level of gloss to the paintwork, the tyres and the alloys were looking a lot, lot better. And the car's looking in pretty good condition, ready for summer. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll of course leave a link to all the products that I've mentioned in this video in the description. I'll leave a link to some of the videos I've mentioned too. If you have enjoyed this video, brilliant if you could give it a like, comment down below if you've got any questions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.